So a common question I get is, how do you build an OpenStream graph project from the command line? I don't want to use the Xcode GUI. Okay, fair enough. So we'll do that right now. So we'll bootstrap this uh, current OSGU test program we did in the last example. And I'm going to open up my terminal. Now terminal is not X11. Remember that. So it doesn't get access to any of the X11 APIs. This is just a command line interface to the Unix substructure, but it's not X11. So let's change into the directory where I put that uh, project. And you see I have my files there. And let's do a command line build. So let's use Xcode build. Haha. <laughs> now I'm sure this is not what you meant, but I just wanted to demonstrate that you can do Xcode through the command line. And it's kind of nifty because you can actually get access to distributed builds and other Xcode features through the command line. But um, you probably want it to direct GCC invocation. So we'll do that next. Now, I'm not going to discuss make files. Um, that's up to you, the user. Um, I do recommend CMake. Um, it lets you build cross-platform build systems. Uh, it's a basically a build system generator. So you have a generic description of your project and CMake will decide does it need to generate a make file, does it need to generate a Visual Studio project, does it need to build a Xcode project and so forth. It's, it's a pretty great tool and you're going to be hearing more about it as we move forward with the OpenScene Graph build system. But in the meanwhile, let's do a direct GCC invocation. Now the first thing is we actually have a dash uh, D flag that we need. And this is because producer doesn't transparently know how it was compiled. You actually need the back end, uh, explicit switch. It's rather unfortunate. But <clears throat> you can see this in our Xcode project, which I did beep open. And we have a, it's called use OSG, US, use OSX AGL implementation. And so I'm just going to copy that because it's hard to spell right. Then we can do an op. This is optional for you if you installed the library frameworks. Dash F specifies where the li um, frameworks are. Uh, by default, library frameworks is actually searched, but if you installed it to your home directory's library frameworks, you'd actually need the dash, dash F switch because for some reason X or GCC does not search that directory by default. And definitely, if you installed to a non standard location, you would definitely need this flag. So now we want to compile main.cpp, which is the file with all the code. And now we need the link. So traditionally with Unix, we do dash L, OSG, dash L, OSG, till, et cetera, et cetera, dash L, um, OpenGL, or whatever. Um, with frameworks, you use dash framework instead of dash L. So we'll do dash framework, OSG, framework, OSG, till, dash framework. See OSG DB framework OSG GA framework OSG text framework OSG producer framework uh, producer framework open threads. And I think that's the minimal set we need for this particular app, um, this particular file, um, main.cpp. It, there are more open scene graph frameworks, but I don't think this file actually uses it. So I hit enter, and let's hope this compiles. And it compiled. So it's going to generate a, a dot out, and we'll run it, and there you go. And that's building using command line.